Hannah Gluckstein was born into a wealthy family and attended art school until 1916. Shortly after this time, they shortened their name to Gluck and began to dress almost exclusively in men's clothes. During the 1920s and 1930s, Gluck became known for painting floral arrangements inspired by their florist partner. Gluck had several long relationships with women and often painted lesbian contemporaries. In 1944, Gluck moved to Sussex with lover Edith Shackleton Heald, where they lived together until Gluck's death in 1978. There has been some questions around Gluck's gender identity, however this is unconfirmed. During Gluck's lifetime, there was much less awareness of trans people and limited language to use when talking about gender. I wonder if Gluck may have identified as trans if Gluck was alive today. On the back of Gluck's paintings, Gluck wrote, Please return in good condition to Gluck. No prefix, suffix or quotes. Maybe Gluck's pronouns are just Gluck and no she, her or anything else. Just Gluck. All the time. Do you think Gluck preferred to be called Gluck because of the way the art world was at the time? In terms of being known for your gender rather than your work. What do you think Gluck would have wanted if they were alive today? It could have been they, him, her, Z, here.